Michael motherfucking Bland on the drums. And I'm gonna swear because I'm eventually gonna talk about how he plays the song Sexy Motherfucker. So I may as well get it out of the way at the top. Wow, this album is very personal to me. Whenever I hear it, I can't help but think of that moment that uh, I walked into Bunkers and I heard Michael Bland playing and my suburban white ass just started moving to the beat. Uh, that was the first time that I really came face to face with that connection between rhythm and dance and how pocket is really a manifestation of the rhythm in the body. It's like, so every time that I have listened to this album, I immediately think of being at Bunkers all those times and watching him play with that great band. And it really taught me what Pocket was. There are so many poetic descriptions of what Pocket is, and I think it's almost meant to alienate some drummers from thinking that they'll never be able to have it. The half note, the two and four, is what gives it that sway, that kind of back and forth feeling that really affected me then and continues to really pull at me and uh, inspire me to try to play drums better when I hear how other drummers are able to control pocket whether they're playing two or four or not. And that brings me to uh, the beat Sexy Motherfucker that Michael Bland played on with Prince and back doo doo, back doo doo, back doo doo, back doo doo. So it's not two and four on the snare, but two and four is so felt inside of that beat that that's where the pocket is. And I think so many drummers, they get lost when they're not playing two and four, they kind of lose the pocket. And the minute you lose the pocket, it's gone. Like you can't come back in with pocket and have it not have created a disruption. It has to be maintained no matter what you're doing. And that's Michael Bland's playing. Constant momentum of relentless pocket no matter what insane shit he's playing. Yeah, we're swearing, we're talking about sexy motherfucker, we're talking about Michael motherfucking Bland. So uh, yeah, I gotta just go there because he's been such a huge inspiration on me. And so even though probably hardly any of you have heard this album, uh, it's a huge one for me. And uh, if you want to have a copy of it, I might be able to direct something your way. Anyway, that's it. I will be talking more about Pocket and how to track it down in your playing. But uh, in the meantime, let's listen to some more Michael Bland beats that uh, is the best description of Pocket I can think of. So anyway, enjoy your weekend. We will be in touch, y'all. Bye-bye.